Welcome back to my channel guys. Thanks for being back again for another great Matt Pilates class. For today's session, you guys are here for your abs and glute class. So go ahead and grab your mat. No props are needed and let's get right into it. Now, whenever you're ready, you're gonna exhale, curl, lift your chest, and inhale, lower. Exhale, curl up, inhale, back down. And as you are doing this, I want you guys to already begin to focus on contracting your abs to initiate that curl up, right? So that way you're not feeling it in your neck whatsoever, and it's truly coming from your core. So big exhale to curl, big inhale to lower. The more you think about using your abs, the better. Good, friends. Take out three more times. Curling up for two. And on your next one, you're gonna hold it up high and stay there and pulse it up. So you go up and up. And as you're pulsing up, your abs are sinking deeper and deeper, right? As for your low back, you're either holding your natural curve or you're thinking about imprinting your back. Whatever feels best for your body. Good, you got three, you got two. Hold it up high. Point your toes, right leg tabletop, left toe tap. Right toe down, then left toe down. It's tap and tap. And as you are tapping here, try to hold your upper body rock solid as you are just mobilizing that lower body. So you're really focusing on sinking your core in tight, stabilizing your pelvis as you are mobilizing those legs. Good, it's tap and tap. Take that three more times on each side. Good. And then once you are equal on both sides, keep both your toes down, float the right leg to tabletop, rotate to the right side, reach that right arm out, and curl it towards the outside of that right thigh. It's curl and curl. And as you're curling up, flip that right arm to face up so that you feel the connection from your pinky all the way up your arm to your back and to your left muscle. It's curl and curl. Three more, three, two. Last one, hold it up high, shoot that right leg out, then bring it back to tabletop. Right leg out, then back in. You can choose to stay here or option to reach your arm the opposite way. Right arm up, right leg out, and then bring it back to where we started. You lengthen out, then back in, lengthen out, then back in. And as you are doing this, friends, you are holding the rotation of your spine, right? So you're really focusing on targeting the obliques. Take that three more times, guys. You got this. Exhale, two. And then last one, bring it back to center and curl it up to finish. It's up and up. Five more. Five, four, three, two. Do not drop out. Right arm goes back. Bring it back to center. Right toe down. Left toe up. Rotate to the left side. Left arm out. Palm is up. Here we go. You got curl and curl. And as you're curling up, once again, try to flatten out your core as much as you can so that you are building that intra abdominal pressure and you're thinking about sinking your core in nice and tight for three four two last one hold it up high shoot that left leg out then bring it back in inhale out exhale and good friends you have the option to stay here or at the arm here we go left arm and leg go away from each other then back in inhale lengthen exhale and squeezing that left oblique friends to make that left leg come back in and try to hold the rotation of that upper body. Good, three more times. Keep breathing for a chip. And the last one, hold it in and hold it up to finish. It's up and up. Hang in there, friends. Really make the obliques work for five, four, three, two. Last one, left arm back. Bring it back to center. Left toe goes down and relax everything down. Good job, guys. All right, shoot the legs out. We're gonna go into a roll-up. If rolling up with the legs straight is not available to you, go ahead and bend your knees. That's okay as well. Otherwise, legs are straight. Your arms go slightly overhead, but of course, keep that ribcage knitted. Here we go. Chin to chest, reach your toes, 
scoop your belly, show me your deepest C curve, lengthen out your back, flat back, right? And then lower right back down, bone by bone. Scooping out your core, right? Feel the oppositional pull consistently going and activating as you're going up and down so that it helps you guys roll up and back down. Good, friends. We're gonna do that twice more, just the same. Nice. Inhale, exhale, chin to chest, draw your core in, show me your deepest C curve, lengthen out your back, and then bring it right back down. All right, friends, here comes your last one. Make it your best one. Here we go. Chin to chest, draw your abs in, scoop it in nice and tight, lengthen out your back, and hold it here. Now bend your knees. Feet are flat, let's go back into some C-curve work. So show me your deep C-curve, and then lengthen out your back. So inhale down, exhale up. Show me the clear difference between that deep C-curve and your flat back. So I know that you're really focusing on activating those deeper layers of your abs. Good, so inhale down, exhale up. How about we add some arms on the next one? Here we go. C-curve, fingertips reach down, and then reach slightly overhead. Inhale down, exhale up, and since we are doing this for a fair amount of times, really focus on drawing in your abs as much as you can. Think about relaxing both your shoulders down as well. Get friends three more times, just the same. Exhale, two. Last one, hold your deepest C-curve, bring your arms up, palms together, rotate side to side. You go right, then left, it's right and left. And the entire time, friends, you are holding that deep C curve. You're focusing on those obliques. Imagine you're bringing out a wet towel with the obliques. It's rotate and rotate. You got three more. You got three. You got this, friends. Two. Last one. Bring it back to center. Arms go up at an angle. Pulls it down to finish. It's down and down. And as you're pulsing down, your abs are going deeper and deeper. Five more. Here we go. You got five. Woo. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Come on up. Oh my gosh. Good job, guys. All right. Moving on to some booty work. We're going to go down to your right elbow. Shoulders over the elbow. Stack the hips. Stack your shoulders. Knees are stacked. And of course, lift your waistline up. We just did so much oblique work. Apply it to this exercise. Your top arm will go to your hip. Lift your top leg up to hip height. Now shoot it out. Knee is straight. Toe is pointed. Bring the toe to the ground. And back up. Down to the ground and back up. So inhale down, exhale up. And when you tap the ground, you're only tapping it for a split second. Do not relax for too long because we're trying to work out your left outer glute and your left outer thigh muscles. So keep it all nice and tight and activated. Good. Inhale down, exhale up. Three more times. Keep breathing for two. And then last one, hold it up. Flex your foot, bend your knee in. Line it up with that bottom leg, and then reach the heel out. Bend the knee in, then reach it back out. Now friends, as you are doing this, go ahead and reach that left arm forward, right? And we're just gonna hold the arm here, so that again, you're working on that coordination of your upper body and your lower body. We bend and extend. I can already feel my outer booty activating. For three, you got this friends, two. Good, last one. Keep that leg straight, pulls it up to finish. It's up and up. So it's up an inch and down an inch, focusing on that outer glute and outer thigh muscles. How is your side body doing, friends? Lift it up again. Do not collapse down for five more seconds. Here we go. We got five. Up four, three, two, last one, and relax. Good job, guys. All right, we're gonna move on to some side planking, but with some booty work mixed in. So to start off, step the hips and knees, hand to your hip, lift the hips up and hold. Good, and as you are holding here, I want you all to close your rib cage, keep your core tight, keep your glutes strong. Now, bring the hip, the right hip down to the mat and lift it back up. Inhale down, exhale up. Good job, friends. Now as you are doing this, really focus on engaging, not that top hip to lift up, but rather that bottom hip, that right outer glute, and that right oblique muscle is working to make that lift happen. Good, it's up and down. Three more, three, 
You got this. Two. Last one. Hold it up. Isometric hold. Float your top leg up and hold. You're breathing. Now shoot that left leg out and hold. Let's tap your toe. Bring your toe down and lift it up. Inhale down and back up. Good. So try to stabilize your upper body rock solid as you are mobilizing that lower body. Back to that booty work on that left side while you're holding your side plank. So it becomes a full body exercise. It's up and down. Three more. Three. Good. Two. Hold it up, friends, and pulse it up to finish. It's up and up. You got this. Do not give up on me. Five more seconds. You got five. Push away four. Core is tight. Three. Nice. Two. Last one. Oh my gosh. And relax. Good job, friends. All right. Before we go on to the next variation, if this next variation is too challenging, again, feel free to keep your knees down. But otherwise, let's move on. So extend that right leg out. Left foot is flat. You're still on that right elbow. Lift your hips up and hold. Now you can stay here. Bend both your knees or stack both your legs and hold. So now we're truly going to hold a side plank. And as you're doing this, you're going to feel your supporting arm starting to get a little shaky. Totally normal. It's a full body exercise. Before I count you down, lift your hips up higher. Squeeze your core tighter and breathe for five, four, three. Oh my gosh. Two. Last one. And relax it down. Good job, guys. All right. Moving on to some glute work. So, what we're gonna do now is you're gonna go onto all fours. Shoulders are over the wrists. Your knees are below those hips. Keeping your core tight. Do not tuck your tailbone in. Find your neutral pelvis. I want you all to shoot that left leg out. Knee is straight, toe is pointed. From here, tap your toe to the ground and lift it up. Tap it down and lift it up. Now, as you are doing this, you're gonna feel that left hamstring muscle and that left low glute working. So you want to feel the back side of the entire left leg working to make that lift happen. Super important. If you could focus on contracting your left glute, that would be even better. Good. It's up and down. Check out your elbows or softly bent as well. Try not to lock them out. Take it three more times. You got three. Keep breathing. Chip. Last one. Hold it up. Flex your foot. Fold your heel in, then reach the heel out. Fold your heel in, then reach the heel out. Now notice how my back knee is in line with my hip, right? We don't want to go here. Keep it in line so that you don't crunch your low back whatsoever. And you want to focus on keeping your core nice and tight. You bet. Then extend three more. Three. Great. Two. Last one, friends. Keep the heel in. Press it up to finish. It's up. And up, and as you are pressing up, can you fold your left heel closer? Can you tilt your pelvis slightly under so that your low abs are engaged and you're supporting your low back? And can you push away from your shoulder blades? Five more seconds, here we go. You got five, press up four, you got it, three, exhale two, last one, knee goes down, and relax, hit that child's pose. Good job, guys, woo! Catch your breath. And then right away, come on up. We're gonna go to the other side, but before we do so, let's plank again. So, full center plank, shoulders over the wrist. We're actually gonna start with your plank prep, which means we're gonna keep your knees bent. Tuck your back toes under, keep your core tight. Now lift your knees, hover and hold. And as you are hovering here, try not to collapse down or stick your booty back. Tilt your pelvis, push away from your wrist, Hold this plank press so that you're finding the proper alignment of your upper body before you go to a full plank. Good, you're breathing. At any point, if this becomes too much, feel free to bring your knees down, that's okay. Otherwise, those knees are still hovering, guys. We're holding for five, we're holding for four. You're looking awesome, three. You got two, last one. Knees go down, hit that child's pose, relax. Good job, friends. All right. Go ahead and come back up. One more plank variation. This time we're gonna go into somewhat of a mountain climber, but at a slower pace. So, back to your wrist. We're gonna lift the knees, hover and hold again. From here, you can choose to stay here or shoot the left leg back, right leg back, and then bring it back in. Right, extend both legs back, full plank, and then bend it back in. 
So your upper body does not move whatsoever. All the movement is just in that lower body. So stay strong. Right front, do not give up on me. Nice and slow. Right, core is tight. Elbows softly bent. Head is up. Try not to drop your head down. There's nothing interesting on the ground, friends. Good, hold your full plank for five. Holding four, holding three. You got two, last one. Knees go down and hit that child's pose and relax. Good job, friends. Woo. Okay, bring yourself back up. We're gonna go back to that booty work on the other side, but I'm gonna turn around so that my right leg is right in front of you guys. So, shoulders over the wrist again. Of course, nice and tight. We're gonna shoot that right leg straight behind you. Try not to take the leg up high. Keep it in line with the hip and slightly tilt your pelvis to support your lumbar back or your low back. Now, from here, tap your toe down and bring it up. Inhale down, exhale up. And as you are doing so, you're thinking about reaching beyond that toe. You're focusing on, once again, on activating the back of that right thigh, which is your hamstring muscle. And you're also focusing on squeezing that right low glute muscle. Good, inhale down, exhale up. Good friends, keep breathing. Energy through every single inch of your body. Do not collapse whatsoever. You got three. Breathing two. Last one, hold it up. Flex your foot. Fold your heel in, then reach it out. Fold your heel in, then reach it out. Notice how steady my right leg is, or my right knee specifically. Try not to let it dance around whatsoever. Make that hamstring muscle work to draw that right heel in. So you're sculpting out the back of your thigh and you're sculpting out that booty, right? Fold it in, then back out. Three more times. You got two. Okay, last one, hold it in. Press it up to finish. It's up and up. Reach that heel up high towards the ceiling tile for five, four, three, two. Last one, knee goes down, hit that child's pose. Relax for a quick second. Good job, friends. Ooh, I'm getting sweaty here. Woo. Okay, go ahead and bring yourself back up. Back to our center planking. Once again, starting with that plank prep. So shoulders over the wrist, knees below your hips, tuck your back toes, draw your abs in. Here we go, you got this. Lift the knees, hover and hold. Again, actively push away from your wrist. The knees are hovering, your core is tight. You're having fun here. Good, we're holding for five. Holding for four, you got three. Exhale, two, last one. Knees go down, hit that child's pose, relax for a quick second. And second is up, back to that plank. But this time, instead of doing the slow walk out and in, we're gonna go into a faster, quicker pace mountain climber. So here we go, shoulders over the wrist, knees below your hips, lift and hold. Now shoot the legs behind you, hold. Here we go, it's in and in. So we're not going double time, but at a quicker pace. Easier option, go back to that first variation that we did when we were walking in and out. And then over time, as you continue doing my videos, right, you're gonna go ahead and pick up that pace. Good friends, last 10 seconds, double time now. In, 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 you're breathing, keep going, don't give up on me. Woo, we got five, four, three, two, Last one, oh my gosh, hit that child pose, relax. Wow, guys, good job. All right, bring yourself up. If you really felt that, don't forget to hit that like button, right? Just kidding. All right, moving on, back to our side planking and working our way down to our full booty work. So we're gonna go down to our left elbow now. Shoulder is over the elbow. Stack the hips, stack the knee. Top arm to your hip. Now lift the hip up and hold. From here, your left hip will go down to half the mat and lift it back up. Inhale down, exhale up. And as you are doing this, yes, you might think I'm trying to get that right hip up high, but I want you guys to focus on squeezing that left outer booty and that left oblique muscle to make that lift happen, right? Because we don't want to walk out lopsided or Maybe you do. Just kidding. It's up and down. 
Keep that rib cage close. My waistline is on fire. Three more times. Exhale, two. Last one, hold it up high for me, friends. Now lift your top leg and hold. Shoot that leg out and hold. Now tap the foot down and lift it up. Tap the foot down and lift it up. And as you are doing this, again, you're working out that outer booty. Yes, your left outer booty is working, but we're focusing on that right outer glute muscle. Now, what is the left side of your body doing? Actively push away. Do not collapse down whatsoever. It's up and down. Three more. Three. Good. Chip. Last one. Hold it up. Isometric cold. Don't move. Just breathe. Lay down nice and long. We're holding five. Four, three, two, last one, relax it down. Oh my gosh, good job, friends. All right, we're gonna go for that full side plank, easier option. Stick to what we just did with both your knees bent. Otherwise, join me, here we go. So back to your elbow. Left leg is straight out, top arm to your hip. Lift it up and hold. Now you can choose to stay here or stack both the legs and hold. And as you're holding here, friends, draw your core in nice and tight. Push away from your wrist. That left arm will be shaky, shaky, totally normal. Just do not collapse down. Remember, a side plank is a full body workout. We're holding five, holding four. Oh my gosh, three, two, last one. Relax it down and relax. Good job, guys. All right, moving on to our side booty work. More side booty, but with no planking. So, down to your elbow again. Stack the hips and knees. Again, top arm to your hip. You're gonna lift your top leg to hip height and hold. Now shoot the leg out and hold. Once again, tap it down and lift it up. Tap it down and lift it up. Now, as you are doing this, check out the left side of your body, right? Actively push away from your wrist. You don't wanna sit into that left shoulder, right? Keep it away from that ear and Squeeze that left oblique to keep your waistline lifted and away from the ground. My favorite cue for this exercise is to imagine that the side seams of your shirt are nice and lengthened versus crinkled together. It's up and down. Good, friends. Three more times. Booty on fire. Two. Now hold it up. Flex your foot. Bend your knee in and then reach the heel out. Bend your knee in, then reach the heel out. Now you can stay here or reach that right arm forward. We're not gonna move the arm whatsoever. It's more so to test your coordination and also it might help with balancing and the stacking of the hips. Cause sometimes we tend to rock our hips forward and back too much, right? We bend and reach up, squeezing that right oblique. Take that three more times. You got this friends, two. And then last one, hold that leg out. Pulse it up to finish. Oh my gosh, my booty is on fire. Five more seconds. You got five. Up four, three, two. Last one. Smack that booty. Relax. Good job, friends. All right. Everyone's very part of class. We're going to lie back down on our backs for some more booty and ab work to finish off our class. So on your backs, we're going to take your feet as wide as your mat and slightly turn it out. You're gonna actively press your arms down and we're gonna start with an articulator bridge. So, I want you all to tilt your pelvis, draw your core in nice and tight, lift your hips up high, not so high that your ribcage goes out, right? Keep it nice and tight. And then super slowly go way down, bone by bone. Once you got that, keep going at your own pace. It's an exhale to go up and it's an inhale to go down. I really want you guys to focus on driving the heels down into the mat to make that lift and lower happen so that you're really feeling the back of your legs, your posterior chain working, which are your glutes and hamstring muscles. Right, so big exhale up, big inhale down. You also wanna feel the back of those arms activating as well as you're lifting and lowering because the arms are part of the exercise. The tricep muscles are working. Good friends, let's do that one more time. Don't rush. Whenever you are ready, we're going to meet at the very top. Squeeze the booty to head back up to the top and hold it there. Now break at the hips. Go halfway down, then push the hips up. Halfway down, then back up. Inhale down, exhale up. To lift back up, keep your rib cage knitted and focus on squeezing your glutes and hamstring muscles. 
Woo, my legs are getting shaky. We got three. You got this. Keep breathing. Two. Last one, hold it up. Isometric hold. Let's move the arms. Both arms reach the ceiling and lower back down. Inhale up, exhale down. So we're holding an isometric hold, is what it's called, with that lower body. The longer we hold, the more pressure we're building, the more challenging and more burn you're gonna feel. Woo! Super fun, right? So inhale down, exhale up three more times. You got this too. Last one, hold your arms up high, pump the hips up to finish. It's up and up, and as you're pumping your hips up, make it your best ones. Maybe focus on knitting your rib cage, hips are going higher, or you're focusing on driving the heels down into the mat. Five more seconds, exhale, five, four, three, two, last one, and then super slowly come back down with control. Hug your knees in, relax, good job friends. To finish off this quick class, we're gonna move on to some core work again. So float your legs up to tabletop, lift your chest, grab above that right knee, shoot that left leg out, single leg stretch. It's in and in. So for the single leg stretch, we're extending one leg out as we're pulling one leg in. You're focusing on grabbing above where your knee and shin meet while you keep your upper body rock solid. Get that core work, friends. It's reach and reach. Good. Five more times on each side. Keep breathing. Four. Can you curl up higher? Three. Nice, friends. Two. All right, last one. Bring it back to center. Double leg stretch. So both arms and legs go away. Then bring it back in. Arms and legs go away. Then back in. Three more times. You got this chest up, too. All right, last one, hold it in. Arms behind your head, pulse your upper body to finish. It's up and up. Now, ease your option, bring your toes down, hold that tabletop, or super fun, challenging option, shoot the legs out for the last 10 seconds. You got 10, breathe nine, curl up eight, sink your abs seven, six, five, you got this, four, exhale three, Two, last one, best one. Hug it in and relax. Good job, everybody. Woo, okie dokie. Roll yourself up. To finish off class, just a quick cat-cow stretch. Uh, two of them, which is why I made the peace sign. Shoulders over the wrist. Here we go. Tilt your tailbone, draw your core nice and tight. Thanking your body for today's class. Bring it back to center. Open up your upper body. Woo, my body is shaky. Again, tilt your tailbone. Draw your abs in. Push away from the wrist. Shake your head side to side. Bring it back to center. And open up your upper body. Good job, friends. Go ahead and connect your toes. Separate your knees. Hit that child's pose. Awesome job, guys. And that is class, guys. Thanks again for joining me. If you guys are really enjoying these classes, I would really appreciate if you guys hit that like button as it really helps me reach so many more people. And if you haven't yet and you're back again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fun upcoming workouts. And again, feel free to share it with all of your friends and family. All right, guys, have an amazing